cars of the future are going to look completely different. Autonomous cars will need fewer driving features and more elements for people inside to work, rest and play. This is where polymers come in instead of traditional glass and metal. And it's not such a new idea. The first wholly plastic car was built as far back as 1967 by the company we're talking to today. Well, to hear more, let's meet Jochen Hart, Vice President of Global Marketing Mobility at Covestro, a leading manufacturer of high-tech polymer materials based in Germany. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to The Business Debate. Jochen, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Hello. So for people who don't know Covestro, who are you? What is the company? Covestro is among the world's largest polymer suppliers. We are supplying raw materials like polycarbonates, polyurethanes, coatings, which are raw materials for paints and adhesives, for example. So parts of our daily life, we find it everywhere. Basically, we are sitting on it right now. We have an 80 years history since we were formerly part of the Bayer Group. But since 2015, Covestro is now an independent company. And you mentioned history. You have a long history of working in the automotive sector. So tell me about that. We started a very long time ago, in 1967, um, to launch the first full plastic car in the world. This was a K67 um, to demonstrate, to show what's possible beyond the context of, of applications that time. If you imagine how cars looked in 1967, steel, metal, very basic, very simple. So this car is still existing, one unit at Covestro in Leverkusen, fully functional, driving with registered number plate. And the second one is a German museum in Munich. And what we have nowadays in cars, what we see, it's in common. This was a vision in 1967. Now, what kind of problems are we solving by having polycarbonates and polymers in general in cars? Polymers are very versatile materials, so you can play with properties, you can tailor made properties. So, first of all, lightweight is an overarching issue. They need to become lighter, they need to become more energy efficient. Second point, looking to the future electric cars, we need to be more serious about energy management. That means insulation, thermal insulation properties of plastics are also very important. Another point is design freedom. We all like to buy beautiful products. Designers have lots of creative ideas. With polymeric materials, you have virtually unlimited design freedom. And you make these concept cars periodically. Your last one was in 2016. What can we expect of the cars in the future? What are they going to be like? Future cars, if, um, if I envision what will be in 10 years, 15, 20 years down the road, they will be probably full electric, they will be autonomous, and therefore the whole architecture of cars will change. Combustion engine, the engine will disappear, it will be all electric. So we can utilize the space of cars differently. So they might have a complete dome in, in polycarbonate material to have completely new shapes. The other point is we will sit in cars instead of uh, being annoyed by traffic jam in the morning, we will utilize this time productively. For example, for teleconferencing or just watching movies, which means you will have display integration in cars all over, light integration on cars. And how strong are polymers? Because people's perception is that they're not as strong as metal and glass. Polymers can be very strong. Um, thanks to the properties which can be tailor-made. For example, this is polycarbonate in pure form, crystal clear, very robust. You can have it in any color, any shape, and uh, it's virtually unbreakable. This is used for lights already, That is it? used for lights already. Um, all the headlights around the world are, are made of polycarbonate. It's industry standard. It's unbreakable. It's very safe. Another example, if you imagine now replacing all the windows in cars, by polycarbonate, first of all, your weight will go down 30 to 50 percent. Try to break into that car. You will not manage that. It's unbreakable virtually. It will take you a while. What else do you have there? But it's not have metal. It does look like metal, doesn't it? What is and it? And it sounds like metal. It is again polycarbonate combined with carbon fiber. One of our latest products, so it's a carbon fiber composite material based on polycarbonates. Now, how safe are all these materials? Because we have seen electric cars on fire on the street, haven't we? Because their batteries heat up. Battery technology is sensitive. It needs thermal management, so battery temperature needs to be controlled. Plastics can help a lot here with thermoconductive materials. Um, this is a good example here, a laptop which I brought here. That's a lithium-ion battery packaging in a laptop, which we use. Every laptop has this. And the packaging around that is again polycarbonate, flame retardant material to make it safe. So the, the, the batteries have to be packaged 
and they need to be flame retardant. So, and if you just think of an electric car, your whole bottom, the whole floor of the car is full of such batteries, of course, in larger size. So how are the functions of cars going to change? Because they're going to be communicating with pedestrians in a way that they don't at the moment. Autonomous cars uh, will, will need sort of eyes and ears. So in this, these eyes and ears are all the electronics, radar, camera systems, other sensors, and they need to be integrated in a car. For example, behind a polycarbonate outer surface in a car. This is what we demonstrated with the K2016. So in this systems will detect, for example, a pedestrian. I'm standing at the zebra crossing. I see the driver sleeping in the car. I do not know, does the car see me or not? Does it stop? For that, we need regulations. For example, what is the signaling? What is the language of an autonomous car? For that, we'll use a lot of light. We will use signals, for example, integrated screens. And for that, we need global agreements and standards to solve all that issues. Fantastic. Thank you so much for telling us all about it. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in fintech and cyber security. But for now, from me, Sarah Lockett at the London Stock Exchange Studios, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.